Investigators are looking into what caused a church in Baker to go up in flames over the weekend. Jordan Ponzio has more on how church leaders are picking up the pieces. Brittany, this isn't the first time Reformation Church has been hit by disaster, but church members told me it just allows more room for the Lord to work. It hurts, you know, and uh, we, uh, the Lord's been good to us. We've been experiencing some uh, growth, some families have been joining, and uh, things were kind of uh, on an upward trajectory. Church officials say the building in Baker is a total loss after an electrical malfunction in the attic caused the sanctuary to go up in flames. The fire sparked around 7.30 Sunday night after the church hit record attendance at morning service. Rusty Reed, senior pastor at Reformation Church, said they'll now be rebuilding for the third time in the last 11 years. We've been through a fire uh, in 2013 uh, in the back when a, a car ran into the building. And in 2016, we had a water up to the middle of the windows. And uh, this is just another one of those things that the Lord's going to bring us through. And we're looking forward to see what happens. It took less than an hour for crews to control the fire, but what was left was minimal. Our piano, our sound system, uh, all of that looks like it was damaged. It looks to us like everything in the main building is lost. We were able to get some of my books out, uh, but that's it. Reed said he's thankful for the support of the community. Just dozens of sister churches uh, have reached out. Uh, people all across, on Facebook, all across Central and uh, Greenville Springs and Baker, just everywhere. Even the youngest members of the church are willing to help. Bring you some logs so y'all can build the church's roof back. Reed said rebuilding the church is just superficial. We just look at it as an opportunity for the Lord to, to, to move and to work, and uh, he's never let us down, and he never will. Sunday service changes will be announced later in the week. Donations can be made to the Church of Inmo that can be found on their Facebook page. Brittany? Jordan, thanks.